Mayong adlaw mga kagalaan, ako si Chakoy and welcome sa Wondering Cusina. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is crispy fried penny pasta. Napanood ko to sa YouTube and I want to uh, create my own. I hope it will be successful. And daghang salamat for all those uh, YouTubers, uh, YouTube creators who are doing their best to showcase their talents and yung mga bagong uh, recipes. But this time, I'm not going to show you anything new, but instead I'm going to recreate my uh, to create my own or recreate what I've seen sa YouTube. So let's go. Tignan natin yung ingredients natin. So, we have water, obviously, para sa pasta natin papakulo. And then, we have oil. We have cheese powder. You can also use barbecue powder, sour cream powder, or kung ano mga flavor na naisip niyo. Wow! And of course, we have penny pasta. And by the way, you, you don't have to stick to penny pasta. Pwede niyong gawin kahit anong pasta. You can do it in any pasta you like. And salt. And flour. Corn flour puto or corn starch. Ganun lang kasimple yung recipe natin. So, una natin gagawin for this procedure, obviously, lagyan natin ng oil yung mantika natin. Habang na-prepare kami, pinakuluan ko na yung uh, tubig. I mean, it's already heated. So, we're just waiting for it to boil. And then, lalagyan natin ng asin. So, habang hinihintay natin siya na kumukulo, for those who have just tuned into my channel, this is Wondering Cuisina. Thank you for visiting the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe to all our videos. Watch it until the end. And then, kung may advertisements man, that's a big support if you finish the advertisement as well. Every YouTube creator, every YouTuber will appreciate na pinanood yun yung uh, ads na nandoon sa mga videos namin. And one more thing guys, we have Facebook. Don't forget to like our Facebook, follow our page, and Instagram and Twitter. And thank you because we have uh, reached 6,000 uh, subscribers. Thank you so much. And now I'm also doing this recipe today because everyone I believe is at home because of the situation sa mundo natin ngayon. And you can do this as snacks and probably after the COVID-19 issue, pwede pwede to para sa mga parties. Yes! And pwede din pang negosyo. Don't ever forget that. So ngayon, kumukulo na yung tubig natin. Ilagay na natin yung pasta natin. So hindi ko siya kakalalahatin. Kakalahatiin ko lang muna siya. Okay? Okay. So when, once you cook pasta, you always have to make sure that you are very much attentive doon sa pag... Uh, paghalo doon sa pasta natin habang uh, kumukulo siya. Okay? Kasi otherwise, magdidikit-dikit siya and baka masobra yung luto din. Especially yung spaghetti noodles, that's number one rule na kailangan nyo siyang haluin often. So sa penny, it's a similar uh, procedure, kailangan nyo din gawin yan. And while we're waiting, and habang nagkahalo tayo dito sa pasta natin, let me uh, give some shoutouts to our subscribers who have helped us uh, reach this stage of our channel. Shoutout doon kay Bernadette Byrne. Dagang salamat for liking the Cajun recipe that we have. And then, I'd like to say hi to Mayan Taganahan. Mayan, that's my best friend. Dagang salamat, of course. I'm not reading just my best friend's um, comment, but hi, Mayan. And to Paolo. Dagang salamat. And... Uh, to Bella Agbulos, thank you very much for supporting Wandering Cuisina. And to uh, Joseph Sante, and hope, uh, Joseph Sante, hopefully when I get home to Cebu, and uh, we'll have some food crawl, and at the same time, we'll be doing uh, a lot of uh, Bisaya food, and whoever's going to uh, collaborate with us dito sa Wandering Cuisina. And to uh, Rowan Bigyan, thank you very much for, for dropping by Wandering Cuisina, and thank you very much for your support. And let me give a shout out as well to JC Asia TV, um, who is in Taiwan. Daghang salamat for tuning in, JC. And uh, and to Marlon Esteban, thank you very much. Homemade tina tinapa with smoker from oven. Uh, let's try doing that in the future. And to Hot Cool Aids. Hot Cool Aids, thank you very much for tuning in. And to Prongs19, thank you very much. Yun lang muna yun yung mga babasahin natin. And uh, let's continue dito sa 
pasta natin. So let's see how it's going. I believe you know the process after this one. Kailangan natin tong uh, hugasan sa malamig na tubig to keep it from cooking further. So tanggalin na natin siya. Okay na. So guys, I'll be back. Uhugasan ko lang muna to sa malamig na tubig. There you go guys, na nahugasan ko na siya. Um, hinugasan ko siya sa malamig na tubig. Nilagyan ko actually ng ice para mag-automatic uh, stop yung, pag, uh, yung heat niya kasi ang nagluluto. So automatic stop yung pagluluto niya. Ito po yung itsura niya. Okay? Now, kumuha na ako ng, ano, ng uh, pagpipituhan uh, natin. Nagluto kasi ako dito kahapon. And I tried it, and it's so delicious. So that's why I want to share it with you. So my ex extra pack of oil, it's um, it can still be used one time na naman. Pero dadag dagan natin ito, kasi hindi siya masadong ano, hindi siya masadong matas. At least somehow, medyo para lumupog yung pasta natin. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is hahaluan natin ng uh, corn flour or corn starch yung pasta natin. So, lagay lang natin yung pasta natin dito. Make sure wala na siyang tubig. So, hahaluan lang natin siya ng corn flour. Yung corn flour natin is dapat enough lang na mag-coat doon sa, sa pasta natin. Kasi ito yung nagpapakrispy nung, nung uh, pasta. You know what? I-try natin kasi kahapon when I did this, wala halong uh, salt. But this time, I want to test it with salt. Let's see how it goes. Then yung additional corn flour natin. Yung corn flour natin sa half nito, this is 400 grams tapos 200 gra grams lang gagamitin na dinamit natin. Tapos yung corn flour natin, it's about half a cup of corn flour. Okay. So, dalagyan na natin siya ng corn flour at dalagyan na natin ng konting salt. Um, and then, we're just going to turn on the heat dito para mag-start na tayong magprito. And as I said earlier, dadagdagan na natin ng mantika. So, dadagdagan na natin. Medium heat lang yung apoy para hindi siya masunog. And how will you know na luto na to? Mababrown po siya. And yun yung part na masarap na siya kasi yun yung crispy, uh, crispy na siya. So I think sa nilagay ko, we will have three, uh, three sets of crito. Uh, so guys, pa-brown na siya. So, hayaan lang talaga natin na mag-brown siya. So there will be moments like for example, ito na kumpul-kumpul. Pwede nyo siyang balikta rin. Pero once na na-disintegrate, pwede naman yung ma-disintegrate mamaya. Ayun, pa-brown na siya guys. Gusto ko lang i-achieve yung medyo mas brown pa, like yesterday, what I did. Mas crispy siya pag konting deeper brown. So there you go, ito. Ito, talagang brown, brown na siya. So this is how I wanted it uh, to be. Tignan nyo. Ganyan ka-brown, okay? Ganyan siya ka-brown. So let's put this here. So guys, ganito ka brown yung dapat natin ma-achieve. Ito yung uh, point na crispy siya. So tikmo natin na. Ready din yan? Ganyan, ka crispy. So yung pangatlong set natin. Ubusin na natin to. So there you go guys, yun yung pangatlong set natin. So uh, now, I decided na gumawa tayo ng tatlo. Yung isa is bear lang na yung kung ano siya. Then yung pangalawa is uh, yung, uh, yung may salt and pepper. At saka yung pangatlo is lalagyan natin ng cheese. So let's see, mamaya kung ano ang mga difference nito. So okay na yung pangatlong set natin. Let's just turn it off. And malapit na tayong matapos. So now, let's start seasoning them. So itong first set natin, lalagyan natin ng salt and pepper. Konting salt lang. And then, 
freshly crushed pepper. That's enough for this amount. I just think. Now let's shake it. Mamaya ko na siya ipit taste. Exciting. <laughs> Natatanggalin ko na ito yung tissue and ilagay na natin. Now, kunasa na natin ito. Now, this time, ang susunod natin is ang cheese. Lagyan natin ng over a tablespoon of cheese. Yeah. So, okay. So, we have three flavors here. We have the salt and pepper flavor. We have the powdered cheese flavor or cheese flavor. And we have just a regular uh, crispy penny pasta. So, we'll just clear everything and then magta taste test it tayo. So, ngayon guys, titikman na natin yung tatlong flavors na niluto natin earlier. So, remember, this is crispy penny pasta or crispy pasta. So, we have the salt and pepper, we have the cheese, and we have the regular. Now, itong regular, isasawsaw ko dito. But I'll try also the salt and pepper, isasawsaw ko dito sa suka. By the way, I added some suka para malaman natin kung perfect siya. Okay? So, tikman na natin muna itong salt and pepper. Okay. Nandun yung uh, lasa ng pepper, napapasarap sa kanya. Yun yung ah. nagpapaiba sa kanya dito sa, sa regular. Kasi yung regular kanina natikman na natin eh. So, let me try yung regular muna before we go to the cheese. Sausaw natin sa suka. <laughs> Yun. Pasok. Pero gusto ko isausaw tong salt and pepper sa suka. Napakasarap guys, I tell you. Hmm, okay din. Ito ang pinakapasok ito. Yung regular natin na tinikman, sinausaw natin sa suka. The best. Now of course, yung um, cheese natin, I tried this yesterday. Let's see kung ganun pa rin nasa. Sarap. Siguro itong platter na to, if I'm going to, uh, to set it out, napakamura lang nung uh, pasta eh. More or less, nasa mga malamang nasa 25 to 30 dirhams na to. Sa Pilipinas, hindi ko lang alam kung anong rate ng pasta dyan ha. Pero guys, sa bar pa lang, pasok na pasok ito. Siguro, I would say kung sa Pilipinas to, this would cost, correct me if I'm wrong ha, baka napakamura or napakamahal. I say mga, um, 300 pesos or mga 250 pesos. Ang ganun lang kasi napaka napaka konti lang ng uh, ingredients natin tapos ganito na yung ending at saka half lang ng isang pack na ginamit natin which is already good for a platter. Yes! So just imagine. So that's a negotiative for you. So all right guys, this has been Chakoy. Thank you for watching and this is our crispy pasta episode. And I hope you like this uh, video. Now guys, if you like it or if you don't like it, just please do comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page and Instagram and in Twitter. Dagang salamat guys. Stay safe, stay at home, and keep the love pouring. And peace.